Hello! Welcome to the Shopify Daily Summary app by Bookkeep.com. This app will summarize all the transactions in Shopify each day into one journal entry and post your QuickBooks online. Instead of posting every single transaction from Shopify into QuickBooks like all the other apps, our app will eliminate all the clutter and post just one entry per day. You will have cleaner books. This video walks you through the setup. First, go to the App section in your Shopify store. Type in QuickBooks in the search field at the top. Go down to find QuickBooks Daily Summary App. Click on Add App. Then click on Install App at the bottom right. This QuickBooks icon will show up. This is where you connect your QuickBooks Online account to our app. Just sign in to your QuickBooks account here like you usually do. Then hit Connect. Now you can see both QuickBooks and Shopify here. Click on Map at the top right and you can start to map the accounts to QuickBooks chart of accounts. To map the accounts for each data item and choose where you want them to go into QuickBooks, you can select the chart of accounts by clicking on the drop down. Go through each one of the data items. If you don't have the account set up in QuickBooks yet, you would need to do that first in QuickBooks and come back to this page. You can also see on the right hand side what side of the journal entry each item goes, whether it is a debit or a credit. At the bottom section, you will also have the option to select how you define the beginning and end of each day. Add a class. This is optional. Some sellers may want to use the class feature in QuickBooks to identify a specific Shopify store if they have more than one, for example. If you're not using this feature, just leave it unmapped. Same goes for the location feature. When you've finished mapping, hit Save. Now we go to the second entry where we post the payments from Shopify. Go back up to the top right and hit the drop down to select Shopify Payments Deposit. Here, you map where you want to record the deposits from Shopify Payments and which bank account the deposits are going into. The fees are also summarized and should go into an expense account. If you've taken a loan from Shopify and are having money taken out each day to repay the loan, it will also be picked up. The bottom section is the same as the first entry. And you are done mapping and ready to start posting. Voila! There is nothing else you need to do. The app will automatically post the entries each day. But if you want to go back to post any previous day's activities, you can close out of the mapping section. Next to the Shopify icon to the right, click on Run and select the dates you want to post. Just another note we would like to add, if you have any banking rules set up to automatically enter Shopify transactions, you need to turn them off. Otherwise, the entries might be duplicated. Thanks for using Shopify to QuickBooks Daily Summary app by bookkeep.com. If you need any help, Please email us at support at bookkeep.com.